How to start an online business. My name is Elliot Pearson. Um, I'm a system architect. I've been at my current job for 10 years and I solve problems during my day job. When you think about a uh, software engineer or, or a computer programmer, I'm just a more senior version of that job. Outside of the office, I'm a mentor, a board member, and an entrepreneur. So instead of just asking the question, how do I start a online business? Let's reframe this. Let's think about a problem you would like to solve. First, let's start with you. What problem would you like to solve? I think the best way for people to learn is to give them a theory and then give them a real world example of, of it actually happening. And so we'll start with my problem. So as a kid, I love playing with toys, toys and video games. But for me, toys were here before video games. And as an adult, I really don't play with toys. Um, and if I do play with toys, I'm playing toys with my niece or my other younger relatives if they ask me to. <laughs> Um, and I go to uh, stores and I see, uh, like the picture below, I see toys everywhere. And I know that a lot of those toys will not uh, end up uh, somewhere where kids will play with it. So my question is, uh, that I ask myself is, can I find a home for these toys? Uh, you see all of the bins there and some of the bins actually have sales prices there. And you see a bunch of adults waiting to get out of, you know, uh, the, the toy store trying to buy uh, toys for kids. The reality is that like a lot of those toys in those bins will not ever see a home. So that's where I wanted to ask, hey, can I find a home for these toys? Before I started the venture, I asked myself a few questions. The first one was, would this venture be profitable? Uh, what skills would I need to run this venture? What tools would I need? And am I passionate about it? So would this, vision, would this venture be profitable? Yes, it would be profitable if I source items very cheaply. Luckily for me, there are tons of places and events where I can source items. I can go to big box stores, retail stores, yard sales, flea markets, thrift stores, and online marketplaces. So great thing for me is there are tons of places where I can get items from. Uh, what skills would I need to run this venture? Uh, since this is an online venture, venture, I need to use an online marketplace. I need to be able to make profitable choices. I need to use the online marketplace site. I need to be able to ship products. I need to use good customer service skills. The reason why I say good customer service skills is that if you would go into a store, buy a pair of shoes, take those shoes home, Let's say they don't fit, you don't like them, you take them back and you can get a refund. The same thing happens with online marketplaces. As opposed to going to store X, you're just have going to a virtual store. And that virtual store sometimes is my store. And I need to be able to handle uh, your request and your return properly. And that requires good customer service skills. What tools would I need? This was pretty straightforward to me. Um, I needed a computer, a web browser, a camera. Uh, mine's is attached to my mobile phone and an internet connection and that's pretty much it am I really passionate about it if you can't tell right now yes I'm still passionate about it I love it <laughs> I still find it very interesting and fun I've been forced to learn things like customer acquisition costs return on investment and average sale price when I look at average sale price, I need to be able to say like, well, what is our average sale price? Is it growing or declining month over month, year over year for this category, for this item? It's a very, very important metric that I had to learn about in order to successfully run my business. Which platform did I use? Well, we actually picked two. We started in 2010. Uh, we run on Amazon and eBay. And when I say we, I run my businesses with my wife, Ty. Uh, we've been doing it since 2010 and we love it. It's fantastic. It works for us. So how are we doing? Um, not giving out specific numbers. Uh, we aren't making enough money to buy a house, uh, but we are making uh, car payment money. Numbers fluctuate, but just uh, the goal was really, uh, you know, that we wanted to make enough to cover a bill. And we were able to do that. And we started setting up our goals. We do, um, what do we want to do in a year? What do we want to do in two years? What do we want to do in five years? And then we set milestones for ourselves. And that's how we run the business and it's working very well for us. I put this in here because you're probably a parent and I, I kind of feel like there's a parent dilemma. And um, 
Um, I may be borrowing this from someone. I don't know. I did some research. I couldn't find out who actually originally came up with this. But uh, if you're like me, you have kids. Kids are expensive. You love them, but they are expensive. <laughs> you wouldn't trade them for the world, but they are expensive. And as your family grows, not only in uh, maybe number, but also size, uh, you can try to save more and more. Uh, you can focus on reducing costs. You can focus on saving dollars for the future. Uh, but there are a few problems you will face. Um, you can't cut your cost to zero. As hard as you try, you can never cut it to zero. It's very easy for you to cut $10 here and there. And I would even argue that it's easy to go from a $2,000 bill to a $1,000 bill. But uh, as far as monthly expenses, but trying to go from 1000 to zero, it's just very, very hard. And at some point, you hit some tip on, tipping point where you just can't do that anymore. Um, and you can only work so many like jobs. I know uh, people that have three and four jobs. Uh, things come up. They need your attention. Uh, they actually need your resources. Like new car comes up. Uh, you need to get a new roof. Uh, somebody may get hurt. You need to take them to the hospital. Uh, it's a lot of things that come up. So, so what can you do? Great thing is that it's simple answer. It's time to start your own business. It's never too late to start. We started our eBay business at 32. Um, and I really would argue that you should have more than one income source. Um, your income sources should be active and passive, and it's really about diversifying your income streams. Uh, but I would argue that as you move along in age, you should have more and more passive income streams. Um, but uh, that's, you know, a great point to say, like, uh, if you have any questions about our personal journey or if you would like in-depth insight to anything discussed, please ask. Uh, here's my personal email account. Uh, you can actually reach out to me. Uh, it's, you can ask Elliot at gmail.com. Feel free to reach out to me at any time. <laughs> um, I do check that email daily. Uh, even if you are up two o'clock in the morning and you want to like send it over to me, don't feel bad. Do it. I love questions. I love helping. So, um, if you are interested and you want to learn more and, uh, these are some things, uh, some books that I read that are very relevant to this topic. The first of the four hour work week uh, it really uh, is great uh, book for thinking about the mindset of being able to say like, OK, I'm going to only work four hours a week and cover all of my expenses. Uh, really, really great foundation book. Um, and then we have the hundred dollar startup uh, It's really uh, real great use cases or real world examples of people building businesses. If you look at like what Ty and I did for. Um, our eBay and Amazon business, our cost to start those businesses were really zero or, cl or near zero uh, because it costs nothing to create an Amazon or eBay seller account. Um, and then if you look at all of the things we already had, we already had an internet connection. We already had a computer. We already had cameras. We had products that in our house that we could just sell. Uh, so that was uh, near zero cost. A uh, hundred dollar startup really uh, focuses on businesses and gives you some real world examples that may allow you to take your problem that you're trying to solve and shape it into a business. Uh, the Side Hustle uh, Path, a really, really great uh, book. Um, it's a little different uh, spin on kind of starting your own business. And really, if you look at um, what Ty and I are doing, we really do have hustles out of our business where like these aren't our day jobs, but we kind of do activities that allow us to grow those businesses. And those are really hustles. Um, so Priceless, this book is amazing. Um, it really uh, gives you an idea of about how people value value things. Um, the problem is that humans are really, really bad at numbers. <laughs> a really, really great example uh, is like if you take 10 people, put them in 10 separate rooms, show them the same item and say, how much does this cost? You get 10 wildly varying uh, answers. And then if you take 10 people put them in a room and ask the same question and you would actually get numbers that are kind of clustered to the first uh, value out there and it's called anchoring or the first or second value but the reality is that uh, humans are really really bad and <laughs> at valuing things and it really uh, will allow you to understand how people price things versus how people value things and it's really really great book to read so um, in closing, thank you for getting this far. I really, really appreciate your time and your energy that you took uh, to look at this. And um, thank you for allowing me to share. Again, if you have any questions, please reach out to me. Uh, you have my email address. I do check that. So thank you for watching. Really, really appreciate uh, it. And one more thing, I will take all of the links to the books, 
uh, to any links that I added. And if I put this uh, deck somewhere online, the presentation online, uh, line, I will actually add that in the comments below. So thanks again for your time.